welcome back. Six years ago, country singer Camille Tenahu left Gisborne for Sydney and landed on her feet. Almost immediately, she scored a gig opening for Aussie star Casey Chambers and hasn't looked back. Here she is performing with partner Stewie French. This is Love You Like the Earth. sky on a sunny day like the stars in the milky way and a lake when a mist rolls in and the clouds floating on the wind i love you like a storm i love you like the sea like the birds that are flying free and a breeze on a summer's eve I love you like the earth Like the moon, like the sun The universe and I are one Like the world, green and blue The beauty of it all is you I love you like the hills, I love you like a stone, like the field where the flowers grow, and the road that'll take me home to the sweetest love I've known. I love you like the years, I love you like the space, like the lines written on your face, and the sun. Just beautiful. That was Camille Tenahu and Stewie French with a song from their album, Not Without You. And we're very lucky this morning because they're coming over to have a chat. So welcome to you both. Come on over. Thank you. That was just gorgeous. Thanks. Nice to meet you. You too. Thanks for having Don't us. Don't you make a nice team? <sighs> Well, yeah, oh, we have yeah. a bit of fun together. Now, this album, your first one together, mm. um, Stewie's looking pretty relaxed there in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Was it a very collaborative effort? Absolutely. Um, we've sort of spent the last couple of years uh, being out on the road with a lot of the, the big country stars in Australia as um, mainly being in the background. Stewie's been the electric guitar player and I've been the backing vocalist and played a bit of guitar. And um, yeah, we, we got to open the shows most nights for them, which was really great exposure for us. And we just sort of got to a point where we thought, we should get out there and do our own thing, you know? You could keep doing that for a long time, but we just thought, no, we'll, we'll do it together. So. Um, yeah, it was just a, um, the album's quite interesting because it's a combination of songs that um, we've been doing live together for a while, um, originals, we've written a few, there's mm -hmm. a, an instrumental that Stewie wrote, so yeah, it's just a, a really good idea of what we do live. Eh? Real eclectic mix of songs, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Camille, you have only just started writing your own songs. Mm. 
is that a difficult process? Yeah, I um I have found it pretty hard because um uh, I guess over here, I, I, did, I never wrote when I was living in New Zealand and it wasn't until I went to Australia and started hanging out with, um, you know, all of these fantastic writers and it sort of got me a bit inspired and, and Stewie writes a bit. So, um, yeah, it's been a really big learning curve for me, but mm -hmm. I have enjoyed it and we're trying to do more together, especially for the next album. And Stewie, does Camille come to you and say, oh, what do you think of this or what should I do here with this song? Uh, sometimes. I mean... Sometimes I, I sort of inspire the start of a song and Camille normally finishes it. She comes up with nice melodies where you'd think that'd be my job, but I seem to come up with the words <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at the moment. And Camille, you're part Māori, part Samoan. Mm. Does that influence your work at all? Um, well, yeah, on the album we've actually got a song called Māori Woman, so <laughs> I would say so. But um, yeah, absolutely, I really miss my culture over there, but Stewie and I are trying to, um, we try to incorporate that in our live show, and we do a couple of Māori songs. Um, on the album we've got Blue Smoke, which I sing half in English and half in Māori, so yeah, we try and bring that into our show, which is um, something that all of the Australians really love too, you know, like it's funny, we've got that album, and uh, so many people, eh, they say, oh, I love that Blue Smoke, and it's the one that's <laughs> sung, you know, in Māori, so you know obviously that they love all of that stuff over there too and when did you know that going to Australia was for you well I um I had never thought I would leave Gisborne to be honest I had tried in my teenage years and I, I moved to Auckland and I lasted two weeks and so I always thought no that's me I'm gonna stay in Gisborne forever but it was actually when I went over to Tamworth they have an annual country music festival over there and um, I went there in 1999 and uh, I entered a talent quest called Star Maker and it was there just seeing so many young people my age singing country music and um, yeah, it was just such a buzz and I, I just remember thinking this is where I need to be if I want to do country music and uh, I, I went back home and I said to mum and dad, I'm moving to Sydney and uh, within six weeks I'd packed up and gone. Wow. So, and I think they all had bets on me how long I'd last but I've been there <laughs> nearly seven years so yeah, it's, it's really good. And Stewie, how did you get into the music biz? Well, I'm a bit like Cam, I come from Tasmania and that's a fair hike from the mainland, you know, for, for a Tasmanian anyway. And so I, I made the move to Sydney myself. And um, Stewie was a diesel fitter. I was a diesel fitter, and, <laughs> and I always wanted to play a guitar. That was yeah. my passion. And anyway, I moved to Sydney. I worked on a construction site for a year till I, I got into the scene a bit. And slowly, next thing I was playing on records and just making a living out of playing music, which is what I always wanted to do. I couldn't believe it, you know, sitting there earning money playing the guitar. It was just a dream come true. And you've played for some amazing people. Tell me about your, your greatest experience. Um, I was lucky in a way. I, work, I toured with a guy called Troy Casadale for about seven years. I was his lead guitar player. And we toured, did a lot of supports for like the Highwaymen, Leanne Rhymes, Dixie Chicks, um, wow. Merle Haggard, who's my hero. And I actually got to hang out with Merle and jam with him a few times. And that was a, hero, that was a highlight for me. And tell me how you two met. <laughs> It was on, it was actually the last show I ever did for Troy. And it was my first. He hired me as, um, as backing vocalist. And, <laughs> and I was leaving and it was quite crazy how we sort of met. We knew each other, from, yeah. but Cam funny. thought I was with, I was. I always thought he was still married or something. Stewie's been married before and um, it was funny, I'd spent the year before touring with Gina Jeffries and they'd spent the whole year trying to hook me up with, you know, all of the single males on the country. <laughs> oh, you should have thought about this guy. No, 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 I didn't like any of them. And yeah, it was just funny that, that Stewie and I should meet up on this Troy Casadaly um, show. So. And was it love at first sight? was for me. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's so I sweet. Know. No, I know, we've been inseparable since, you know, and we've got a little boy and... Yeah, it's really lovely. What's it like travelling with um, a little boy around the place and touring and stuff like that? It's very different, isn't it? It's sure is. <laughs> <laughs> We've always got a full car, you know, with blimmin... It seems like the music comes second because the car's chock a full of <laughs> prams and beds and... And then I say, well, I've got to fit a PA system in here somewhere. I say, sorry. Sure. No, it's, it's really good. It's quite challenging. But um, we do find if we do a tour, like we, this year we had to go out on tour for two months. So we actually flew my mum over from Gisborne to come out and be our nanny for a month because, you know, you just couldn't do it. And he needs somebody to, 
just, you know, devote 100% and, to him. So. And did your mum tour around with you she guys did, as well yeah. and look after? Yeah, which was really cool because you can come home, you know, all the time and say, oh, we did this and this. And it was just really nice for her to share that experience with us, what, you know, how we live over there. And mm. yeah, she loved it. She just absolutely loved it. it. Sounds like you need to buy a bus <laughs> and drive around with all your stuff. Well, it's weird. Every night's a different motel room, you know. Yeah. Mm. yeah they all look the same after a while. And you think, gee, we toured through that town, but I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. Just go. Yes, isn't it? That's right. But it's good fun. Yeah, it's what great are, lifestyle. What are your hopes for this album? Um, it'd be nice to get a deal in New Zealand, isn't it? No. <laughs> um, yeah, well, we just want to... We basically want to do our own thing now. We've, mm -hmm. we've, we've paid our... We've done our apprenticeship, working with everyone else, and we figure, let's just do, do our thing. And Cam, to me, is the best singer. Like, Australians can't believe it when Cam sings, you know? She's just... She blows them away, you know, I don't tell you that very often, but... <laughs> and they've all said, why doesn't Cam do her own thing? She's always been in the background, but meanwhile she was learning, you know, she was sitting back there taking notes, and, mm. and now it's paying off, because she, she knows the game. And I just happen to be with the best guitar player, so it's a I lovely... Know. It's a go really girl. nice combination, <laughs> yeah. We just want to be able to go and play our songs live and be able to travel back to New Zealand and do some shows back here, you know? And where can people so. see you? We're playing at a few venues. Um, tomorrow night, uh, we're in Petone um, at the Bluegrass Society venue. We're playing in Waipawa at the local country music club hall. That's on Saturday. On Sunday afternoon, we're playing at Clearview Winery Estate in Gorgeous. Hastings. We're doing a couple of shows in Gisborne and one in Whakatane. Well, you have a great, great time. Thank great you. to have you on the show. You're such a gorgeous couple. <laughs> and all the so best much. of luck with your album. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, Christmas is only 24 days away, can't believe it. So we thought we would get in on the Festa Spirit. We have eight Crisco hampers to give away, and you could be one of the lucky winners. Let's take a look. Good morning and associate.